Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 5's in a bit of a rough state at the moment. We all know this, but I want to talk about a different topic for a change. Battlefield 5's cosmetics have been a bit hit or miss for many players. That is quite a problem considering outfits and camos replaced premium as a revenue stream for the game. The reason for the lukewarm reception here is complex. Some players just simply don't find the concept of cosmetics appealing, but for others like me, we're just waiting for the right thing. And what exactly that is varies from person to person. So for this video, I'll take a look at five cosmetics I'd actually shell out Boins or Company Coin for without hesitation. I'll kick things off with a weapon skin. Now, generally, I don't purchase weapon skins in Battlefield 5. I prefer instead to earn them by completing weapon challenges, or occasionally I enjoy those unlocked by grinding through the Tides of War chapter assignments. That said, here's one weapon skin I would pick up instantly. The Night Luger. This German pistol was specifically developed for those patrolling the Fuhrer bunker, and has features well ahead of its time. The weapon totes one of the first true tactical flashlights, triggered simply by gripping the weapon. Human skin completes an electrical circuit between the distinctive brass plates, thus turning on the light. Functionality aside, it is a visually compelling firearm, and I'd be hard-pressed not to pick it up. That said, only two of these guns are known to exist in the real world, and the last time one hit the auction block, it went for a staggering 184 thousand dollars. Of course, this means I'm never going to get my hands on one in real life, but I could in Battlefield 5. There is, unfortunately, a roadblock to bringing the Night Luger into Battlefield 5. Obviously, it's not entirely cosmetic. A tactical light does have some gameplay implications. Still, perhaps it could be a thank you weapon handed out to everyone playing Battlefield 5, as a bit of fan service, or it could be given out during a Tides of War chapter. Either way, it looks cool, and I would love to see it in-game. Up next, let's talk shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Unfortunately, they're also nowhere to be seen in Battlefield 5. Now, shorts were a key piece of gear in the North African campaign and part of the standard uniform for both sides. For me, they visually define desert combat and feature heavily in the newsreels of the time. A practical piece of equipment, shorts kept the wearer as comfortable as possible in dusty conditions with temperatures climbing into the triple digits. They also made it easier to maneuver, a key aspect of desert warfare. It wouldn't be the first time we've seen such outfits in a Battlefield game. Shorts featured prominently in Battlefield 1's Turning Tides DLC. If you're not a fan of shorts, kilts are also another option for interesting cosmetics. Although banned as battle dress in 1940 because of chemical warfare fears, special permission was granted in a couple instances to don the traditional uniform. The most notable was during the St. Nazaire Raid, during which some 600 commandos and Royal Navy sailors destroyed a vital dry dock in an absolutely epic raid. Many of the Cameron Highlanders and Liverpool Scottish fighting in the action proudly wore their kilts into battle. The third type of cosmetic I'd love to see are more historically accurate uniforms. Specifically, I'd really like to see a realistic Dutch uniform, even if it was only available on Rotterdam and Devastation. While it is true a few British engineers engaged German troops on the ground during the invasion in May 1940, nearly 200 Dutch soldiers died. I think it would be poignant to play as a Dutch soldier on the maps, given their valiant defense of the city despite being outgunned. After the government's surrender, many Dutch soldiers escaped to Great Britain, where they trained as part of covert commando units. Similarly, it'd be nice to play as proper Norwegian soldiers, or at least commandos. There are two maps that should feature Norwegian soldiers in Battlefield 5, and there's another on the way in the upcoming Lofoten Islands map. In 1941, a force comprised of British and Norwegian commandos captured a set of Enigma codes and rotor wheels, rounded up prisoners, and destroyed fish oil tanks. The latter's product was used in the manufacture of high explosives. The Norwegian unit involved in the raid would become known as Company Linge, the very same group that foiled the Nazis' plans for heavy water production, an event fictionalized in Battlefield 5's war story, Nordlis. 
Undoubtedly, there are several other historically inspired cosmetics I would love to see in Battlefield 5, but I want to shift now from the practical to, well, the more comical. Meet what I like to call the Tactical Donut. The PKT device was actually used by Soviet troops to aid in river crossings. The tube here was attached to a set of waders, which enabled the user to cross deep water in some measure of safety and dryness. These suits were issued with special paddles, which would allow the wearer to maneuver during use. A special rod helped the soldier gauge water depth. Although a bit unconventional, the suit's design meant the user could still technically operate a firearm in the water and conduct other tasks like demolitions. The tactical donut was issued to engineers and reconnaissance troops, among others. Unfortunately, you weren't likely to make a quick escape in this unwieldy outfit if you came under fire. It was designed with some foresight, however. The inflatable ring actually has several independent compartments, so if one is punctured, it doesn't totally deflate. When the eventual Russian expansion arrives, I would shell out Boynes in a heartbeat for the tactical donut just for the memes alone. Bonus points if the tube can actually be shot and deflated, or if I can use the paddle as a melee weapon. This is also kind of a unique instance where a customization item would actually be detrimental to the player using it. Such an outfit would make you easier to spot as it takes up more space and it would be comical to see the tube bouncing up and down as you sprint. For the last item on this list, I thought I'd choose something simple yet profound. I would absolutely pick up an eye patch if the customization option was available for the German faction. If you're familiar with some of the more dramatic moments of World War II, you probably heard the name Klaus von Stauffenberg. Visually, Stauffenberg cut an intimidating figure, thanks in part to his eye patch. This was a souvenir of his time in North Africa, where he lost his left eye, right hand, and two fingers on his left hand during a strafing attack by Allied aircraft. However, Stauffenberg is remembered for his role in the plot to kill Adolf Hitler on July 20th, 1944. Disillusioned with the Fuhrer's leadership and after learning of many atrocities, Stauffenberg placed the bomb used in the attack, which, due to a string of bad luck, failed to kill Hitler. Inevitably, the colonel's role was revealed, he was arrested, and then executed. Stauffenberg's motivations and politics were complex, but his willingness to take a stand for his beliefs have inspired several films about the assassination attempt and the failed plan known as Operation Valkyrie. Certainly, many other Battlefield 5 players would enjoy the opportunity to don an eye patch as a measure of remembrance to those who stood up for what they believed in. Or maybe they just like pirates. Anyway, these are my top 5 cosmetics I would love to see in Battlefield 5. Which is your favorite? And is there anything you'd like to see added? Be specific. Give me those details. Tell me down below in the video comments. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. Tap the bell for the latest Battlefield videos. And I wanted to take a minute to say thanks for continuing to support the channel throughout the challenges we faced in Battlefield 5. We've been through some rough patches, pun intended, but I still think the game's best days lie ahead. And as always, thanks for watching.